fake gurus on YouTube. A lot of fake gurus on YouTube rely upon fake professionalism. This is part of their manipulation. When you understand that you should always look for style and not substance and not give in to the glitz and the glamour, then you will make better decisions when it comes to how to earn extra money or who to trust as far as being a teacher so that you can learn monetizable skills. In many situations, people are going to dress up in suits, they're going to have pretty websites, they're going to have fancy marketing. Oftentimes, this is a way to trick you into validating that fake guru and providing you with the perception that that person is actually legitimate. So you might be thinking, well, how can I tell if this person is legitimate or not? And the answer to that question is, are they trying too hard to impress you? Are they actually creating educational content or is it all marketing? Now, putting out videos and trying to market materials that provide a monetizable skill is not a bad thing. However, a lot of these fake gurus are not actually putting out any educational content. Instead, what they are doing is very simple. They are telling you that they have secret knowledge, that they have three indicators or three chart patterns that they have used to turn $2,000 into $2 million. They are feeding into and tapping into your primordial reptilian brain, which is very greedy and seeks easy money in order to improve your life. The fact is that there is no easy money. Everything is going to require patience and discipline and learning valuable skills. The reason why a lot of these fake gurus are able to tap in is because they make it seem really easy. They tell you that as long as you learn these three chart patterns, that you too will be able to turn $2,000 into 2 million. And you wanna believe them because you put your trust in this person and you want to believe that you can improve your life. By you paying for their course, you believe that you deserve to turn $2,000 into 2 million. But the fact is that what have you done to deserve earning $2 million? What you need to do is improve your habits. You need to reduce the amount of greed that you have in your system so that you are not easy victims and easy prey, or as they call them, marks, for these people who are able to tap into your lizard brain and have you believe that they can turn $2,000 into 2 million. So, a few really easy ways that you can distinguish between who's legit and who's and who's not. The first is, do they put out regular content that teaches you something? That's really important. The second thing is, is the concept that they're teaching very easy to understand? Now, I'm not saying it's very easy to implement because while my strategy to sell option premium is very easy to understand, it's extremely easy, or rather, it's extremely difficult to actually implement. Because, for example, many people have the perception that in order to make 30 to 40% or 45% in the market every year, that you need to sit behind eight computer screens. You need to watch the market eight hours a day and that you need to make sure that you jump in and jump out. But there's that can't be further than the truth. Day traders do not make money. The way that we make money in the stock market is by selling insurance. And just like an insurance company, an insurance company does not sell a policy to every single person that wants to buy one. 
at the same price. Instead, what the insurance company will do is if someone is a really bad fit, they will deny that person a policy, just like a bank. You can't walk into a bank and if you have very bad credit score and you have a history of non-repayment on your non-secured debt, you are not going to get a loan. If you try to get an apartment and you have very bad credit, your landlord is not going to rent you the apartment. What we do is we are extremely patient and extremely diligent. We act like snipers. We do not take a shotgun approach. And remember, you want to look for people who have a strategy which is extremely easy to understand, but which requires a substantial amount of skill for you to perfect and become an expert in. If someone tells you that they have three chart patterns and you can't easily understand why this chart pattern works consistently, then the reason you can't understand that is because the chart pattern does not work consistently. You are the victim. You are the product. So unless you feel like wasting thousands of dollars and wasting months of your time only to be frustrated, you should never give in to a fake guru that does not educate you with material that makes sense and who does not provide you with a strategy that is very simple on its surface to understand. Let me see. So do they provide any educational content? That's really important. If they only put out marketing, then you can automatically label that person as a fake guru and you can use that as a heuristic and you should be able to be accurate around 90 to 95% of the time. Does it make sense or not? Um, do they rely upon indicators or technical analysis? That's also a huge red flag. What about your perception of whether that person is authentic or not? You always want to have people that you believe are authentic. Remember that nobody is perfect, no one. So this isn't a situation where I am preaching to you and saying that I'm good or this person is bad. No, nobody's perfect, nobody. To, to even expect that someone has lived their life without making mistakes, without making dumb decisions is just completely unrealistic. But you have to ask yourself, what is the intent of this person? Do they have good intent? And I can tell you that there are varying degrees of fake gurus on, on YouTube. For example, even though I am critical of Tasty Trade and Tom Sosnoff and Tony, I do believe that their intent is positive. The only thing that I disagree with is that my opinion on their trading strategy is that selling selling often and trading often and having a system which is extremely complicated while also keeping negative delta is in my opinion going to lead the average trader to lose money. However, do I believe that Tom Sosnoff and Tony Batista from Tasty Trade and Tasty Works has good intent? Yes, I definitely do. I definitely believe that even if you follow something like Tasty Trade, you're way better off than following some of these like penny stock fake gurus who purchase time so that they can appear on talk shows and then they then take some of the money from their students and then give it to charities and then they market themselves as being legitimate or other day trading fake gurus who use websites like trustpilot.com to show like a thousand positive reviews where there's statistical evidence that says that your chances of losing money as a day trader are 99.8% and that the average day trader loses 15% a year. So in my opinion, I, even though I might be critical of Tasty Trade, I believe that they have really good intent. And I definitely do not believe that Tasty Trade is a fake guru. This is just a difference of opinion where I believe that they're taking too much risk, there's too much volatility in their portfolio returns, and I don't believe that it's the proper strategy. And I also don't believe that their strategy is simple. But do they provide educational content? Of course, they provide a ton of amazing educational content, which is why you can label them as legitimate because they don't fail all of the pillars. Do they put out educational content? Yes. Is their system or is their 
their strategy easy to understand. Well, on one extreme it is, like selling premium, but on the opposite end of the extreme, I don't believe that it is simple at all. So maybe if that's borderline regarding Tasty Trade. The other thing is their intent. Do they have positive intent? Yes, I believe so. Are they authentic? Yes, I believe that they are authentic. And remember that, like I said before, nobody is perfect and you also always have to judge some of these fake gurus by their intent. Do they try too hard to impress you? Are they Lambo boys or are they go showing you ads in private jets and trying to tell you about, you know, fancy vacations that they've taken or show you like really or like gorgeous women in order to attract your attention. Remember, you should understand or rather you it's really imperative for you to absorb a lot of these lessons because if you don't you are going to continue being a victim it's very easy to blame other people but it's much harder to look inside yourself and make the necessary changes so that you can take control over your life and with some of these steps that i told you do they put out educational content are they only marketing without putting out educational content? Is their strategy and their system and what they're trying to teach you very easy to understand, but it might be hard to master, but is it on its surface very easy to understand? Are they authentic? Do you believe that they have positive intent? Those are four or five things that you can look at every single guru and as a checkbox, you can go through the list and decide whether they put out educational content or whether it's only marketing, whether they're authentic, whether it's easy to understand, whether they have positive intent, etc. So these are the things, these are the filters that you can run every single fake guru through or rather every single person on YouTube through to make an educated uh, to make an educated decision on whether they are worthy of your time and of your attention and whether they deserve to have you be one of their followers. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts of whether you believe some of these fake gurus are leveraging fake social status and fake social cues in order to give themselves legitimacy. If you have any questions, let me know. I read every single comment. I respond to every comment and I appreciate your attention.